Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome to the channel. And in this week's Tech Bit, having had it for a couple of weeks now, I'm going to review my True Speed controller for Carrera Digital, which Mrs. Slotar bought me for my birthday. So everybody says you really should upgrade your standard Carrera Digital controllers because they're all right, but that's all they are. So one such thing available is the British made True Speed trigger controller. You can see it has true speed embossed on it on both sides. It's a very nice looking piece of kit. It is of course a trigger controller and the setup in there is there's kind of a whole little set of fingers um, for the speed controller and it gives you a nice accurate and a good feel to it as well. Uh, two very durable buttons on the back one for the lane change and the other one is the brake which is literally a dead power cut button now I'm not quite sure what you'd use that for in racing I haven't needed it yet but if you were drag racing I guess hold the trigger down let go of the button you'd get quite a good start wouldn't you uh, the other thing it has on the top is a sensitivity controller now if you've got a standard Carrera hand controller you won't realize about this um, the amount of pull on the trigger before anything happens and the kind of way that that power feeds in and ramps up is adjusted by this knob. I shall demonstrate. So if we turn the sensitivity right up, watch how far the trigger moves before the car moves. Only a tiny touch on the trigger there and the car shot off really, relatively speaking. If we turn the sensitivity right down the other way, uh, retrieve the car. So last time the trigger moved kind of that far. Now it's much further and you see the car pulled away much more gradually and that's the effect of the sensitivity controller. Now beyond that there is also a screw underneath the trigger. Now this is to adjust the spring tension on the trigger itself. So if you wind that in, the little arm inside on the cam adjusts and pulls the spring more or less. So you can have it so it's really tough or not. Talking of really tough, the whole unit is really tough. I mean, you could probably hammer nails in with it. And it comes with a decent length of cable. One of the main gripes about a standard Carrera controller is, is the cable's not very long. And apparently that's something to do with Americans and safety rules, but how long a cable can be without strangling a child, but I don't know. You'll also see that not only is the cable longer, the true speed cable is much better quality. I wouldn't want to pull that Carrera one too far. That true speed one will take quite a lot of punishment. And the other bonus with true speed controllers is you can just unplug the lead and they do make longer extension leads and they do also make straight wire extension leads so you don't have the curly telephone cable on it. So all in all a good set of options. And the other thing you'll note is that the controller comes with a one finger trigger but it also comes with a bag that contains a two finger trigger. And you can see what you like best. I mean, I think I like it better with two fingers. That's what she said. <laughs> but then you can put the grub screw in and just hold that trigger in place permanently. Well, semi-permanently. You can undo it and swap it back again. So there we are. It's a good weighty thing. I guess you can hold it in your hands whichever way you like, but it always seems to be reasonably comfortable. I say reasonably comfortable because the handle could do with a bit more ergonomic design. As you can see, it's very square and hands are not square. So I kind of, I've used it for various things, but I'm somebody who likes to just sit and, um, do a lapse for an hour just mindlessly not even trying to do 
um, fast laps. And having done that for an hour, I put it down and I picked up the other controller and it just felt so comfortable. I mean, yeah, the trigger and the, the switch are terrible, but beyond that, the actual ergonomic design of a Carrera's hand controller, the hand part of the hand controller, is really nice. After an hour using a true speed, you kind of, it's like putting your feet in a nice comfy pair of slippers after going for a long walk in some walking boots. It's much more comfortable. So I think in an ideal world, if you could take the handle off a Carrera digital controller and put it on the bottom end of a true speed controller, you know, I suppose that bit there, kind of like that, that would be a perfect controller. It would fit beautifully in the hand and you'd have all the benefits of the trigger controller. So you'd have the best bit of the bottom of the Carrera controller and the best bit of the top of the true speed controller. And that for me would be everything. As always, thanks for watching one of my videos. If you liked it, you'll find a button specifically for that. If you subscribe to the channel, that really does help. And if you hit the bell, you'll get a notification the next time I post a video. And of course, check out this slot car channel.